Just just get saddled up and go get it right now. Thank you. Uh, in the film, we've confirmed this from YouTube clips of it. They show a CNN clip, 2010, uh, April 20th, where they blow up, where a, a giant oil rig blows up with an oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. And this is one of the trigger points for the aliens slash angels to have a rapture of the good humans before they blow the earth up. Um, this is about 99% confirmed that this, that, I mean, they do say April 20th on the clip. I saw that. Uh, it, uh, the, 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 the oil rig blast did happen April 20th. I, I, I pulled it up, correct, men? I mean, it is 35 days later, correct? And it is the 24th today. Uh, the oil rig blast did happen on April 20th, correct? Yeah, I just I just checked it during the break. We already confirmed it myself, but you can confirm it out there, correct? Yeah, confirmed. All right, confirmed. There is no doubt this is Illuminati doing you know what on us and rubbing it in, but people won't be able to grasp it, Watson, unless you explain the revelation of the method to them and then give them past blaring examples. Uh, so let's get that done. How fast can you get something out on this? Uh, I'll get on it straight away. All right. Uh, I would just get the basics up as soon as possible and then add to it uh, as we go, all right? Okay. Thanks a lot. And, and by the way, I want to just say this live on air because Watson has a bad phone, and I've been for two years calling for this. The procrastination will end this week. We're going to get Watson on Skype audio at least, okay? Okay? Yeah, but I don't want to wait just to send him a camera. Because he's going with this whole camera line to mail it to England and get it hooked up. I want to have him on tomorrow with the video Skype connection he's got. Okay? I don't see because there's a, there's a thing in society. And all patriots do it. The general public does it. We always want to do something perfect before we do it. Imagine, would Lewis of Clark ha have gone across the country if they'd have waited to have it done perfectly, to have like a three-lane you know, highway on both sides, blacktop paved with rest stops every mile? No. Okay, it's not a big deal. This is not Lewis and Clark. Watson will be on Skype. I'm sick of the bad telephone. <sighs> appreciate the, appreciate you joining us, Watson. Goodbye. See ya. All right, we're going to disconnect him now. I'll just direct everything here. And um, you know what? I mean, it almost does a disservice for me to even come on air and talk about this. We ought to be running around the streets, pulling our hair out, screaming and yelling. Uh, I mean, I, I was sent an internal Big Brother video for government in England by a security contractor about face scanning, body recognition technology, and about how it's the government against the people. And I just, I can't even watch it. It's so evil. And, and, and the sickening narrator they got, you know, who, who, who'll be like a movie star to the psychopath government people that watch it. And it should be ruled by a bunch of inbred psychopaths that think it's funny all the stuff they do. And I know the public thinks it's funny when I tell you your water supply is being poisoned. And of course they're not letting people clean up the oil. Of course they're going to let it all come in. Of course they want a bigger disaster to get more funds and more power. Nobody gets in trouble when FEMA blocks the aid in Katrina and cuts the police communication lines. They get more power. And, of course, they get more power when they let all the oil flood in and keep it gushing. And now they're going to shut down all of BP's competition. BP is so powerful. British Petroleum, they're the only company allowed to export 80% of the oil to Asia out of Alaska. They've got a duopoly up there. They're the big carbon tax people. Their whole Copenhagen thing fell apart. So, of course, they rigged this whole deal. And, of course, they're letting it. And they're never going to cap it. They found a big old gusher, blew the lid off of it, and they're going to turn the whole Gulf of Mexico into an oil bath. And they're going to teach you how to be a slave. April 20th, Deepwater Horizon, Deepwater Oil Drill Rig explodes and catches fire in the Gulf of Mexico. At about 10 p.m., 126 people were on board, 11 go missing, at least 15 injured. And then I'm watching The Knowing with Nicolas Cage about the end of the world, and it shows an April 20th, 2010 oil rig blow up with an oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. I just can't handle it anymore, folks. I can't handle it. <laughs>
you know what? This isn't entertainment. It isn't about me being a celebrity or who Alex Jones. Everybody knows who he is. You think this is fun or a joke or a game? You think I like going up against these psychopathic devils? The only reason I'm going up against them is because I've studied history, and I know I don't have a choice, ladies and gentlemen. The only way I'm getting out of this is going straight through these people. You understand that? The only way we're going to get out of this is to break the spell we're under and to stomp these devils into the ground. And that means everything they're for, I'm against. They're for vaccines, I'm against it. Then you go research it, you learn why. They're for open borders, I'm against it. They're for NAFTA and GATT, I'm against it. They're for all these wars, I'm against it. They're for face scanning cameras, I'm against it. They're for federalization of police, I'm against it. They're for torture, I'm against it. They're for torture of children, I'm against it. I'm against every stinking thing they stand for, ladies and gentlemen. And the good news is there's, a, there's an awakening. Every incumbent's getting thrown out on their hind end from Hawaii to Kentucky, from Utah to Pennsylvania, from Colorado to New York, from Massachusetts to Maine. But it ain't enough, okay? I need to be hit between the eyes like a laser beam with just how real this is every day. I need to wake up and get serious and get hardcore. We need to get hardcore. This is hardcore. This, you understand this, folks? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any more hardcore than spiking your water with hundreds of deadly chemicals. To literally make every one of your organs shut down so you die of every blood disease and cancer imaginable. Diabetes everywhere. Kids retarded left and right all over the place. Their brains rotted to hell. This isn't a joke. And I'm sorry if I get really intense. You know, I just love my crew and everybody else here. But I almost just threw the microphone through the window just now. I almost just overturned this desk. Because at a primitive level, I am sick of these people, and I'm sick of looking at them, and I'm sick of hearing their lies, and I'm sick of watching people fall for it. I just want some red blood to start boiling out there and some real guts to start rising. Where are the men? Where are the people that recognize real threats when they see it? Where are they? Where are? Where is the motivation against this, folks? You know, if I was lying about the stuff I cover on the air, I'd be the dirtiest, most evil person on earth. I was thinking about it this weekend. It was the 2006 9-11 anniversary, and I was in New York City five years after. And I was on KTSA with, uh, I think, Trey Ware was the host. And he didn't attack me for being a 9-11 truther. He didn't call me names. He let me put out evidence. And he really, in a heartfelt way, he, he said, Alex... You better hope you're right about what you say about 9-11 because this is all on you. Yeah, you're going to have to answer for God for the information you're putting out. And you, you better hope you're right as bad as this information is. And you know what? It felt good when he said that to me. It felt good. You know why? Because it made me reflect on everything I've done. And you know what? It's good. It's the truth. It's the reality, okay? I've got the guts to tell the truth. Not because I'm a tough guy, folks, but because I've got a fighting instinct and a survival instinct. <laughs> People, don't you ever praise me again, anybody. Praise me for what I've done? I'm embarrassed when I enjoy food, ladies and gentlemen. I'm embarrassed when I enjoy anything because I realize just how evil this new world order is, and I feel like I should be doing nothing but fighting the globalist. But more and more, I realize you can't be unbalanced. I can't just fight all the time. So I'm going to actually be taking more time off to get myself right with God. But I'll tell you something, folks. You better get your butts right with God right now.